Hello, Libra. Welcome to your mid-October to November reading for this current year. Boom, bitches. Check that shit out. It is my Dark Mirror Oracle deck book. I got this, right? I'm going to start using this as your vibrations and your themes and your readings because I like these. These give lovely messages. Anyway. Libra and cross watchers. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh, we already got yours. And Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Just boop your nose and away we go. Right? Right. If you want a personal read, everything is in the description box below underneath all of the music channel listings I use in the background on my video. Newcomers. First reading is on the house. Everything else comes with a price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Libra, this popped up right when I started shuffling. 17. Forgetting oneself. Let's see what this one says for you with this oracle card, right? Number 17. How many cards are there in here anyway? I never actually checked. Uh, 32. There are 32 cards in this deck. Okay. So, forgetting oneself. The moon phase is waxing gibbous, and this stage is denial. Much like the stages of death, right? Which really makes me like these cards. Like, the fact that there's a skull on the front of it is just, like, mm, lovely. Right? The visuals are, hold on. Time as an eternal present, not a fleeting, but locked. No progress is no regress either. Time as an as eternal present, not flee, not fleeting, but locked. No progress is no regress either. The visual seed is a naked young man whose curly brown hair are intertwined by a golden laurel crown. Half of the golden mask protects his eyes while the sky around him breaks, ripped to take the shape of a mistletoe branch. Mm. His sentence is, eating the lotus flower, numbing our identity to go by the sound of a music that was never ours. Going dark, the modern Adonis, an ancient Hermes, a grown-up Cupid shrined by laurel, mirth, and lotus. He is a, the welcoming allure of the present moment, the warm embrace which numbs everything else, like Baskus' wet kiss. If you let go of the pressure and of the pain, if you let go of enough of your identity and of the context you live in, then you will just feel better. It is what happens when you fall asleep, when you take refuge in the arms of a loved one, or when you watch a movie slumped ungraciously on a comfy couch, on a comfy couch, on a comfy couch, C-O-N-F-Y. This book, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just grammar, you know, on a comfy couch. Sometimes, however, it asks for more. It takes more out of you, more of yourself to be forgotten, to feel just a little better, and maybe... The twisted idea that if you forget everything, then you will actually really feel better. Forgetting everything, letting everything go, not just as a moment of rest, but as a jump in the dark. It is like vertigo. You stand on the edge of the precipice, and a little part of you wants to jump. But it is just a moment of rest, a moment of pause, a moment of uncreated selfishness. So what? Let it be and sleep soundly. Mm. That's your vibration for this quarter, Libra. You're forgetting oneself. You or your cross watch, right? I'm recording, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Ah, get in there. Yeah, I know, that's what he said. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway. Your cards, Libra. We have the Queen of Wands reverse. Could be Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Bitch mode. Very impatient. Wants her ways and she wants it now. Right? And she's looking for a reason to burn everything down and then just take off to calmer waters afterwards. 
the thoughts and feelings is um feeling tortured and feeling like that shit is not ending as soon as you would hope or you're trying to get out of it a lot quicker, but something's keeping you still stuck in the scenario, right? And the root of that is the Page of Pentacles. Um, could be an idiot, could be someone who doesn't know how to actually handle people, or thinks that their skills with whatever it is they handle is sufficient enough, but everyone just looks at them like they're an idiot. So, they got that issue with them, right? Let's see. We have the lovers right here with what's coming up, right? It's gonna be Gemini. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Karen of the Earth signs, I will say. I'm not a Karen though, so watch that shit. Anyway. And the Eight of Pentacles, getting some work done, working it diligently, actually. Putting a lot of effort in, I must say. Libra, but this is an energy of forgetting oneself. Oh, that's the number 17, too. Huh. I don't know. That would make more sense if that was the number 18, because then you could combine it and make it the number 9. You know, nine. the number 9 is my life path, which is about letting go. Is there something on my mouth? Oh, it's a cat hair. Of course it is. But that, yeah, that's my life path. Basically, you add all the numbers of your date, like 1, 11, 86, which is my birth date, right? You add them all together, and you add all the final numbers together, and that's your usually your life path for anybody who wants to know. Like mine's 9, which is all about letting go. Surprisingly, um, I knew somebody else who had the same life path, but who was that? I can't remember. Anyway, this Queen of Wands right here. Um, she's really impatient. She can leave whenever she wants to. It's not like she's trapped or anything, you know. But she's bitching. She's complaining. She's whining and all that shit, right? Um, but it's like the escape is more of a burden than anything, right? It's just like those first few steps is just the hardest, man. And I don't think they want to deal with all of the heartbreak on their own. I feel like if they did leave... They would be breaking their own heart. It's kind of like the whole, um... Kind of like you've been with somebody for so long that, like, if you were to divorce or separate or one of you died, like, it'd be like having to start fresh and not really knowing how to do that and you're just missing the old days and shit, you know? Down below is the... Okay, that's fine. We only got two right here. Down below is the Six of Swords, someone leaving shit on fire, and then moving to calmer waters, right? This could be you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, right? Standing in your truth solid, you got your bird right there. I'm gonna name him Ted. Not Todd. Ted. Ted's cool. Todd is kind of a Todd head. Uh, um, th then there might be a Capricorn involved, like... Yeah, well, she's here anyway, and so is the page as well. Uh, but it could also be like there was a toxic relationship you had to leave behind, right? But it's like when you left, there was something there. That... It's like there was an inkling or something behind you that was glowing, but you're just like, I'm not paying attention to that. I don't need that shit. That might have been something calling to your intuition. Something you weren't picking up, but it didn't matter because you were sneaking away and getting away with shit. You are the person you're dealing with, Libra and Cross Watchers, right? Um, in order to make yourself like successful, happy, or whatever, um, you found the reason to be in conflicts and whatnot, but the fact that you avoided a conflict, I think, could have possibly put you or your person, Libra and Cross Watcher, um, in the position where someone thinks that they can hunt for property. That technically is not their property. It's like a, a, a control freak. It's like, I own this town. And people are like, you don't own me. I don't work for you. Like, one person could have done that and just set somebody off. It made someone feel like, you know, like... Mm -hmm. Let's see. But maybe in the calmer waters, right? Because it seemed like... Um, things weren't getting along. Like, there were two different people. Maybe somebody was slowly but surely riding in to make an offer. Here's another Earth sign. So you could be dealing with, like, a Virgo... A Taurus or a Capricorn for sure, Libra and Cross Watcher. But someone just decided, no, I'm, I'm just turning my back to things and like, I'm not taking action. I'm just letting it all burn. I don't care if it's my emperor. I'm the emperor. I can do whatever the fuck I want. 
you know? This is how it feels. Oh, this is the wrong deck. My bad. Okay. I always do that somehow. But that's because I have so many here. Well, not really. I don't have nearly as many as a bunch of people. Like, I think I have maybe a total of eight decks. Yeah, I think I only have a total of maybe eight, nine decks tops. I've seen tarot readers who've had, like, bookshelves taller than, like, my brother-in-law. or my, Well, technically my husband's brother-in-law, but he's my brother-in-law, too. Because that's how it works in families. We're taller than my brother-in-law, full of nothing but decks of tarot cards. I don't think I could do that. Like, I can't have that much commitment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I honestly don't have that many decks at all. So I don't know how other people do it. I mean, I like, but I, at the same time, I don't know very many tarot readers who could use like playing cards to read either. So I don't know. But I, I don't know where that came from either. But we're going to continue with your stuff. Anyway, up top with as above. What is up? Someone needs to go into a trance, pick up a stick, and turn it into a snake. Call upon their spirit dog, being like, Come here, boy. We're going to go on a trip, lassie. A mind trip. In order to... Huh. It's like, you... It might be having to go inside, Libra and Crosswatcher, to find that, um... Possibly a person who you decided to crown victorious or crown a loser um, was not exactly what who you thought they were or what you thought it was. You might even tripped yourself up without even knowing it. Down below, though, it could have been possible you just weren't seeing eye to eye or sharing the same world with another person anymore. So you decided to take a, a, a brand new clean slate. Either you did this or a person that you're dealing with, Libra. You just, you guys just couldn't see the world together. So you decided to take a leap of faith. Hmm. Or this could have been the person who got left behind deciding to go take a leap of faith and start a new journey. Like, someone might be up here being like, hey, you're hanging off a cliff, but they don't see that there might be a ledge underneath that they can notice like you have to be hanging off the cliff to even see it so they're not really in any danger but everybody thinks that they are right and that might have been a done goof someone might have goofed on what they thought this two of wands might have actually been i just wanted to clarify that because i felt like i needed to like someone might have goofed up on their feelings or let their feelings fall to the floor just be like mm, you know what fish that's okay you go back into the fucking ocean that's where you belong anyway hopefully you're not completely dead Right. All right. Ten of Swords reversing the thoughts and feelings. Right. Feel a bit tad more stuck than usual. You feel like this is a judgment call on you. Like judgment is being passed upon you. Um, you are looking for calmer waters for sure. But the problem is, is like there's nowhere to go. Like it's like in this position with the uh, Ten of Swords. It's like a. Um, yeah, you were looking for a different place to go because whatever or whoever it was that you were actually dealing with in this scenario, labor or cross watchers. Um, in reality, when you left, you left to a place that's kept you even more locked up and confounded in a space that you didn't really mean to have happen to you, I think. It's like now you're trying to find another place to find calmer waters, but now it's like harder. Almost like... Almost like someone's looking for y'all or some shit. That's weird. Um, got you feeling pretty um, bitter. Oh. Oh, okay. I was seeing smoke over here and I thought it was like this light. Or maybe it is. It might be. Are you on fire or light? I don't see any more smoke. It might be this light. There might be smoke coming out of my light. That's nice. That's terrifying. Yeah, we're going to take a break after this one. Because apparently the light bulb needs it. Because there's smoke coming out. 
<coughs> uh, I hope so. Anyway. <coughs> Let us see. Down below, Libra. Let's see. This page of Pentacle who really wasn't skilled, right? Um, they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know how to handle people. They didn't know how to do much of anything. But damn it, they were going on an adventure with the Page of Swords. For fuck's sake. We're going on a trip, y'all. We are going on a trip. Right? Decided to go off with their love elsewhere, Libra and Crosswatchers. And that was not the best thing. That probably pissed you off. Or that was just bad karma in general. It was not justified one way or another, right? Mm. Yeah. Will you do me a super duper favor? Mozzarella still sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Yeah, I'll share. Like the sheets ones. Mm hmm. Okay. That shit's delicious. I, they better still have that damn shit. I'll be mad if they took it off. Okay. Okay. Alright, Libra. Up top with the thoughts and feelings, right? You might have got off with something and found out that it was a big old bug. One that um, was not repaired, like a bait and switch, right? And now it's like you gotta possibly pay for shit, or the person you're dealing with is paying for shit, Libra and Cross Watchers. And that is gonna be something to move forward. I love you, baby. Be safe. Yeah, let's put one more down there. And now it's like, there's gotta be a talk after all of this fighting and such. It's just like, okay, look, we can't just keep beating each other's ass. We actually have to have a good reason or a discussion on why we proceed to beat ass with each other. Like, this is... It, it's gotta stop. I can't keep having all this stuff come to me, and then the wheel turn and move the shit perpetuating forward, and then we are, you know, we have to sit down and actually have a discussion here. I feel like is what you're feeling, because it's like it's getting to the point where it's a little bit much. You feel had... You feel like going into this, like, you have to actually delegate and be a referee. Down below, in the roots of the thoughts and feelings, right, this page of wands. Yeah, somebody ended up driving somebody away to the point where they won't come back, but this individual Libra and Crosswatcher is still toting this idea that that's exactly what they wanted, when in reality, that went everything, that went against everything they had been trying to plan, I think. Because this person would have been able to work on this statue that has a bunch of coin, right? Like, if you were, um... If this person was the person who was good at making the money, right? And you, or the person you're dealing with, Libra and Cross Watchers, drove them away? Hmm. Interesting. Two seconds. Hmm. That is, like, messed up. Mm. Okay, Libra. So, like, sorry about that. I had to, like, check something because, like, it was kind of important. We're waiting on a package. Um... An Amazon package, not an R. Kelly package. Anyway, um, Libra, if it seems, Libra and Crosswatcher, it seems like either you or the person knew you've been dealing with or whatever, it's kind of like one of the two of you are trying to escape some sort of crazy scenario where maybe you just felt like you, were, you or your person felt like there was just too many differences between you and what you wanted, what it, you dreamed of, all that like fancy shit, right, that people like to spout out when they want to feel special. 
you know, oh, we could have had it all, you know, shit like that, right? Stuff that really doesn't fucking matter, you know, because nobody, um, likes the what ifs, nobody likes to sit there dreaming, um, let's not worry about dreams and actually get some shit done, right? But Libra, I feel like in some way, the, uh, people or person that was left behind was a mistake. You know, like, almost like they were a good luck charm right here. And someone actually didn't mean to get rid of their good luck charm, but it happens. You know, like, it happened. Someone didn't think about it happening, but it fucking happened. You know, something that nobody really expected. It's like, um... Oh, what is it? It's like, um... You know, there's all like, the, let's say you got a friend who's like SpongeBob. They're good in tiny, 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 tiny ass doses, right? But a long period of time, they just start, they just start driving you crazy. But you notice that when you're around them is when the best times appear, when like the, you are the luckiest, when things just go your way, when nothing messes up. This person could be happy, go lucky. This person, this person could essentially be a walking good luck charm. It's either you. Or the person you're dealing with who did this to you, got rid of you, and now they're shit out of fucking luck. Like, they got rid of the good luck charm that was bringing them luck in the first place, and it's like they're realizing, they're like, oh my god, this person could have built this shit up for me, and I went, well, fuck it, we're just gonna pretend that like, we're happy with this decision, we'll be alright, you know. But this whole forgetting oneself is weird. Is there something about yourself that you're forgetting, or um, is someone forgetting something about you? So we got the lovers here, Libra. Sorry for all the distractions, too. It, it, this has been a long day. This is actually the longest I've ever taken with my zodiacs, I think. But I didn't start very early, either. I didn't start till afternoon. Which is my fault, so my bad. Um, someone was ignoring their intuition or a high priestess or was keeping secrets and it probably caused the wheel to turn in a very terrible fashion, you know, shit like that. Ugh. Libra, this is like, Libra and Crosswatchers, whoever you're dealing with had no idea, I guess, who, oh my god, yes, okay. There's a magician again, thinking that he was going to combine his light with the sun. Um, this person wasn't listening to their intuition, and they kind of caused the wheel to turn in this faction. It's like, choose your own adventure, and they decided to skip the part where it said, like, check for this page or check for that page, and everything died, and people drowned. But they could always take the book back. But now it's almost like this person is trying to manifest something different and trying to shine their light somewhere. After all of the shit they fucked up, you know? Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The Karen of this deck I like to call her, because fuck it. Um, she's got people who surround her who really don't give a fuck about what she can give or what she can produce, but she's pretty proud of her shit. She's just kind of sad that there's no one to share it with sometimes, I like to say. Like, the Queen of Pentacles always looks sad. She's just one sad lady, and I don't know why. She never really lets people know that she's sad, but she is, you know. She took a leap of faith in the dark, found a king of pentacle with the buffalo who was chilling, and then went off on a journey. She, it's like she didn't come anybody's way. Like, this could be you as well. Um, Libra, almost wanting to, um, not really want to, uh, like, uh, like, it's almost like you want information, but you don't want information. Or that's how they see about you, like, all three of these people have their backs turned, going a completely different direction. Um, then pretty much most of the people in this, except for the dude who's the protagonist. Um, someone took a little bit of faith in the dark. They found the King of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles counterpart, just talking to a buffalo. Probably ignoring her and not paying much attention to her either, like the people do. 
which might have been this person's boon, you know. Not bane, boon, as in like, you know, it was a bonus, right? Because I feel like whoever might have ignored her did her a favor, I think. I'm not sure, though. That's what it feels like. Like, she's producing shit and nobody cares, but she's still producing it, so, you know. Eight of Pentacles, speaking of production. Working on it, we're gonna work, 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 work. Oh, we work, 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 work. Hopefully the deck won't go twerk, twerk all over the floor. Work, 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 work. Okay, I'm done, because I can't figure anything else to fucking say. Um, someone feel like they're a prisoner of their own shit, and they need to try to get out of it. They need to try to get out of their own um, badness of oneself, you know? Try to find a love out there that's possibly brand spanking new or one that still exists so far. Searching for it like a statue. Um, might be with a... Um, Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries is Queen of Sword or Queen of Wands, right? Actually, she's at the very beginning, but she is like reverse. She's impatient. She's not happy. She's this. She's that. She's bitchy. She expects shit. She wants to be treated like a princess, but she's screaming like a sailor at everybody who gives her exactly what she wants, and then wondering where they're going after they told her to. After she told them to leave, like just because I tell you to leave doesn't mean that like I mean that you. I want you to leave, asshole. Get the fuck back over here. You know she's got. She had that energy up here, but now she's calm. So what happened, so after all of this junk, she ends up being calm. Someone might have got to her or some shit, right? That's kind of crazy. Sorry, that was my Palo. I just wanted to light it a little bit, that's all. Make, smell good's in the house, right? But not for very long, because, like, my husband will die from all the smoke. Actually, go back out. Go, go out, damn it. Okay, cool. So, anyway. Yeah, it, that's kind of weird, Libra. Like, this person was pretty erratic, pretty mad, pretty upset. It seems like you and Crosswatcher are dealing with somebody who either let you go without realizing who the fuck you were, or you let them go without realizing who the fuck you were. But it's almost like you convinced yourself to forget who you were in order to get rid of somebody, I feel like. And it's not working. It's actually kind of doing the opposite and making you lose yourself more than you did this person. Like, or they're doing this with you. Like, whoever is forgetting themselves... Um, is forgetting themselves because they're almost it's almost like they're at a point of obsession with the other person they left behind like you know Like there are people who will leave another person behind in order to establish a new identity to them for themselves But it's sometimes when they do that that they start losing who they are to the system of which they decided to sell their souls to you know But anyway Let's see what have we got for you on top Libra in cross watcher uh, queen of wands once again she was getting some info on the magician this cat could act like a spirit a demon an angel whatever the fuck you want to call it but it was definitely an agent for her she was pissed at the beginning she was been pissed but now it's like there was something that she found out about this magician and it brought her calm Brought her calm. Sec row, if you please. The swords are dropped and someone's healing themselves. This queen of pentacles is healing herself, right? Just opening her cup up and being like, I was upset over a stupid fucking fish. Imagine that. Here, I thought this was like a bomb. <laughs> or she's taking it like it's a mob threat and, and, and being like, oh, someone's threatening my life. <laughs> That's great. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's whatever. But she's dropping these swords and not really giving so much of a shit about um, the fish in the cup. Like, she's looking at it with disgust like, oh my god, I can't believe I had this in my cup. My cup should have wine and awesome shit, you know? Like, she's kind of looking at this hurt, these swords, as if they're just more of an inconvenience and more than a bother. It's like, yeah, they're still there, but like, they're, what are they gonna do? Like, leave a bunch of water and 
dead fish scales all over my shit? I think the fuck not. It can get the fuck out for all I give a shit. Go the fuck away, you know? Let's see. Last row, Libra, and then we are done. Uh, someone is willing to shoot a motherfucker if they come over trying to change some things. They are not allowing change to happen. Someone's not going to let anything change at all. Um, because they're cool with how fair things are right now. They think that it's fair. They think shooting down any sort of change in something is completely fair. Libra and Cross Watcher. So, that's the reading I got for y'all. So that's the end, okay? If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. It's all up to you, of course. No pressure. Um, but I greatly appreciate it just because, like, I like listening to you. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.